Hi folks, in this episode I'm going to be showing you a section hike from Coburn's Path to North Berwick along the John Muir Bay. Literally just left Coburn's Path about 10 minutes ago. I've got the Borders Bus 253 service down from Edinburgh. £8.20 single. I've been suffering a bit from cabin fever because we've had work coming in doing the bathroom and then the, the lockdown restrictions changed from tier 2 to tier 3 so that meant I couldn't get back up the highlands so this is why I'm down on the east coast but I was scouring the map and I just was trying to work out where I could go and then I remembered I've done Edinburgh to North Berwick and I've done Coburn's Path to Berwick-upon-Tweed so it's just a section in the middle that I've not done I had a bit of a sock malfunction this morning I had to walk two miles to the bus stop and I could feel my heels were starting to get blisters so changed my socks on the bus on the way down and touch wood I think my heels are okay feeling a little bit spicy but I think I have just caught them in time last thing I want is blisters something I very rarely suffer from as well So that's me hit the beach now. Next destination is Torness. Yeah, I was beginning to wonder if I should actually be on the beach, but here's the sign. I was on the right track, so here goes. <laughs> Just pretend that nuclear power station isn't there. That's a rather nice bay. And my route takes me there in the next 15, 20 minutes. So this here is Fortin Burnt. And I don't know if I want to drink out of it. And I'll tell you why, there's a landfill site back there. And there's a nuclear power station. I don't want to glow in like Peckham Spring. Well that was handy, just nipped into the, the caravan site, grabbed some water and I can go back on the path now. It's 25 to 1, that leaves me 3 hours daylight now, 3 hours. I hope that gives me enough time to get to Dunbar, grab a chip supper and then head out of town, find somewhere discreet to pitch. Right, so there's an upper walkway and a lower walkway. I don't know which one to take. I think I'm going to go the lower. Or do I go the higher? Hmm. Let's go the lower. Let's have a shot of the upper path now. Right folks, I've just about cleared the nuclear power plant, my next objective is just over there, it is Skate Raw Harbour and then Barnes Nest Lighthouse, literally 3-4 kilometres, so let's go. Clouds are looking a bit dodgy, 
maybe get her soaking shortly. Well, that's the rain past. I did have to get the waterproofs out though. And I saw a fantastic rainbow. In fact, you can still see it. Hopefully out there at sea. Well, this path is um, taking me around the perimeter of the golf course, which I suppose will lessen the chances of me getting whacked by a ball. Well folks, I um, managed to kill two hours in Umberto's restaurant and now I'm just looking for the coastal path. I think that just goes down to a beach though, so it must continue around here. It's a rather nice area around here and I'm probably looking a bit shifty, cutting about with a head torch. <laughs> right, there's steps going down here, I hope this is the right way. I've checked the map and the uh, the route does seem to hug the coast and the camera won't pick it out but my head torch is just picking out a track and no more it seems to run continuously so it doesn't just go down to the, the sea so I'm going to roll with it let's see where this goes seeing that in the distance with my head torch lit up I literally shat myself <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I thought it was a woman with a scarf horrible I'm back under street light. Not for long though, because I'm swinging to the right here. Let's have a look. Yep, this is me. Let's see where this goes now. And back in the darkness. Right, folks, I'm pitched. Um, good timing as well, because it just started raining as I got the tent up. I'm just behind a caravan site, and there's a pond. Um, I could have done maybe been a bit further away from the path because dog walkers are coming past every so often but I should be okay, I can't imagine anybody annoying me it's not a great night so I hope they'll be left alone some gin and tonic, yeah dancer so we've got a nice Bombay raspberry and blackberry I think it is Ah, smells good. We have a cheeky fever tree. That's chilled to perfection. Cheers, guys. Good morning, campers. It is 8 o'clock and I've been up for about half an hour. I'm just packing up, getting ready to go. Sunrise isn't until another hmm, 45 minutes, so uh, I'll show you the scenes outside shortly. So there is current scenes. I'm pitched by this little pond. There's a caravan park just over there. And the path is literally there. Alright folks, leave no trace as always, let's rock and roll. I'm struggling with these blisters. It's going to be baby steps today. I'm in uh, John Muir Country Park now. Probably could have found a, a well camp in here somewhere. That there is, uh, is Eastlinks Farm. Great place for the kids apparently. 
you can see there we've got a wee mini gauge railway that goes around the park. Lots of farm animals and all that. We've got a llama here. I'm guessing these are emus as well. This looks like a fine spot for our fresco breakfast. There we go, porridge and coffee, what's not to love? That was good, I enjoyed my breakfast. My next stop is East London and uh, I've got to walk past this bay first. These concrete blocks behind me, these are all over the East Slovene coast and apparently these were put here during the Second World War just in case German ships got here and the tanks got onto land. This would slow them down. Right folks, I'm going to leave these World War II sea defences behind and this is where I'm going to start heading inland now. So, let's go. Alright folks, I've got a short section of the A198 to walk. You just cross the road safely here. Two and a quarter miles to East Linton. Ah, good, we're making progress. So just over there is Preston Mill. If you're an Outlander fan then you'll know this appeared, I think it was either Season 1 or Season 2? Right, that's me in East London now. I'm going to see if I can grab a breakfast roll and a cup of coffee. And that should keep me going until I get to North Berwick. Ah, nightmare it's shut. I think I'll just wait till I get into North Berwick for something to eat. Got enough in my pack to keep me ticking over. Right, this is me just leaving East London. And according to the map, it's got me going up where that transmitter is. A nice wee uphill section for these blisters. Oh, my feet are killing, honestly. Whew. Anyway, onwards and upwards, as they say. Right, guys, you can just see here, I've got North Berwick Law. And that is my landmark I'm heading to. Doesn't look too far to be fair. Let's get cracking. Just watching this buzzard here, it's noised up the crows. Single buzzard, about 50 crows. <laughs> That's a brave buzzard. Why the long face? Hey, come back. Hey, yeah, pal. He's a kiss. He's a kiss. Alrighty, I've came across a little bit of an obstacle here. If I go through that, my feet will get soaked. I might try and squeeze through there and back onto the road. Hold on, I'm caught. Oh, it's my tent pole. Try that. Oh, I'm free.
three miles and a quarter to go and I'll be in North Berwick and I'm really enjoying these woodland walks as well Absolutely no problem these blisters are killing One and a half miles to go One and a half Right folks, that's me at the base of Berwick Law Do you want me to nip up to the summit for you? You evil gets. I was hoping you'd say no. Right, come on, let's go. I am so glad I brought the water filter because I've not had enough to drink today, I know that for a fact. And there is the summit trick point. Let's go. Right, it's 20 past 2 so I'm going to make my way down to North Berwick I'll bring you back when I'm down there I've made it folks, I've made it That's me in North Berwick now And I'm going to kill the video Wish you a Merry Christmas And see you in the next one, cheers!